Welcome fellow travelers. Tonight we're at the Brinkworth Dungeon, which promises 5,000 square feet of handmade Halloween magic. Let's go explore. False start. I forgot that the Brinkworth Dungeon asked that you bring a non-perishable food item to donate to charity. So I'm at Dollar Store. So I picked up some spaghetti and meat sauce and we are good to go. The owners of the Brinkworth Dungeon have a passion for horror and have been running a haunted attraction for 20 years. For 2020, the dungeon is taking extra social distancing measures and running without live actors, except for on Halloween, October 31st. We're gonna start out by entering the haunted house through this creepy facade right under this giant tarantula. Oh, look at this. It's a life-size Elvira statue. Now, where would I go if I was in a... Would I go through another... Ah-ha-ha! -ha. A secret passageway just opened. Sneaky. <laughs> I was very lost. Look at this. Now, this is all handmade, they said, which is very incredible. Ghost Bride. Oh, it's actually got the movies that the uh, set pieces are from. And here's The Exorcist. Let's keep moving. I like how real all this, the uh, walls and everything feel. We're in the dungeon. <laughs> Look at this guy, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And over here, oh, emergency exit, but over here, Frankenstein monster. Lots of spooky gadgetry. It's a whole set piece. This is like walking in the movies. And Chucky. Jeez. I'm certainly glad there's no actors in here, otherwise I'd be terrified. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There's Leatherface in the background. There's Unwitting Victim. I like the detail that goes into these sets, look there. underground cave and there's two ways to go oh look at this this is crazy so we're actually in a grave underground so here's the casket over here and look up there right up there is the headstone we're looking up from under the ground nice but I think we're supposed to go this way through the vines their skeleton. Now we're into a complete Egyptian scene. Sneak down there, watch out for that guy, a mummy. And <laughs> it's Indy. I have to feel safe when Indiana Jones is around. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Now 
this looks dark. I hope I'm going the right way. It got very dark there quickly. Oh, <laughs> he scared me. He didn't even have to move. He's just a mummy standing there. Freaky. We're going through a dark corridor. Amazing. Chamber of Horrors. Now remember, all of these are handmade, which is pretty incredible. This is quite the collection. You won't find these in stores either. These aren't your off-the-shelf props. And I think we're at the end. Oh! Almost at the end. Here we go, one last little bit. And one final glimpse. So I love this attraction. It was more than just a haunted house. It was more like a wax museum and a shrine to horror movies old and new. There was huge attention to detail in all the different scenes and the hallways and corridors were all fully themed. I can see how this attraction will be truly terrifying once the live actors are back in action. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe and share. And until next time, it's time to exit through the gift shop.